Welcome to this mini session on managing breakout rooms. A long awaited feature of Microsoft Teams has just arrived in public preview. So you and your team members, other people in your organization that will be able to manage your breakout rooms on your behalf at the moment need to all be on the public preview option. Once you're on the public preview option, then this will work. So I'm just going to show you exactly how you can set up a meeting with by picking somebody else that will be able to manage the breakouts on your behalf. So you'll be able to have a co-presenter who will be able to do that for you. So let's get stuck right in. I've created a meeting called Manage Breakout Rooms and when I click on it, you'll see that I have an option to join it or to edit it. And I've just sent that invitation out and I'm just going to edit it because this is where I'm going to go into the meeting and set up the fact that Veronica can manage the meetings on my behalf. So first you have to create the meeting request and send it out to your participants. And then you'll notice that we've got various tabs along the top of the meeting and the one I'm going for is breakout rooms. On the breakout rooms tab, the first thing you're going to be asked to do is create your rooms. So we'll do that. Uh, and how many do you want? We can have up to 50. If you click there, you'll see it goes all the way up to 50. But we're going to stick with two and we're going to add them in. There are a couple of things I want to do. One thing I want to do is rename those rooms so they make more sense when people join and that might be part of my patter as a trainer or the meeting organiser. And I want to set up who can manage those rooms for me. So first I'm going to rename them. Right, so let's rename these rooms. To rename the rooms, we're going to click the three dots and choose edit and rename first one as cappuccino. As you know, I do lots of things to do with coffee and I still can't spell it. Uh, and then we'll click save and then we'll rename the second room as latte. And that means that when my participants go into that room and I was took my eye off the ball there, edit latte took my off the ball. So when my participants go, I can say, please, if you're in the latte room or if you're in cappuccino, these are going to be whatever you're going to be discussing, doing or whatever. So now I've renamed the rooms. The next thing is I could assign participants here. Now, there aren't actually any people to assign because there's just me and Veronica in this meeting at the moment, but I'm going to leave it as automatically. And what that means is that if there were other people in there, then teams would take care of the assignments and place everybody in the relevant rooms. Or if we choose manually, then the person will be able to do that themselves. So I'm just going to leave that as automatic and it assigns them. But there's one participant in cappuccino and nobody in uh, latte. We're now going to go to the cog over here because this is where I'm going to give Veronica the power to manage the breakout rooms. So I'm going to assign a presenter to manage that breakout room and the person I'm assigning is Veronica. Uh, I might or might not want to set a time limit. Veronica will be able to do that at the point in when she manages the rooms, um, but I can do that ahead of time if I want to. Uh, I can automatically move people to rooms. That's what we already told teams to do. And letting people return to the main meeting means they can come back to the main meeting if they want to, to ask a question, and they'll have the option to return to their breakout room. If you don't take that one, they won't have the option to return to the breakout room. So once we've done that, our breakouts are now ready. I can join the meeting here. And if I join, you will see that um, my camera is off because I'm using the camera to record the screen. I, as the organizer or meeting organizer, have got the breakout room options and I can do all of that, but I am not going to do anything because I would be asking Veronica to do this for me in the background. And in the next segment, we're gonna see what it looks like on Veronica's end. Okay. Here I am as Veronica. I'm on Veronica's machine and we can see that we're in virtual Veronica's machine and she's also in the public preview. So I'm going to join this meeting. Now remember Shelley is already in that meeting in Teams and I am going to just uh, not turn the camera on because I'm using the camera so you can see me recording in the meeting. Uh, and I'm just going to simply join now. Now once I join the meeting, 
what you'll see is that Veronica has the same options as Shelley on her meeting toolbar. My speakers are muted, but that's actually on purpose. Otherwise, you'd be getting me in stereo, and I don't think you want that. So if I click here, you can see that Veronica has the meeting breakout rooms um, control, just like Shelley does. And here we go, we can go and manage those rooms. So at the moment, Shelley Fischel is managing the rooms, but Veronica can choose to take over. If you take control, the current manager will lose all not completed actions, so that's okay because Shelley hadn't done anything yet. And now we've got the room, the place where now uh, we can assign participants to the breakout rooms. So there's nobody else apart from Veronica and Shelley in the meeting. So uh, I haven't got, I can't make anybody else join. But you can see that if they were, we'd be able to assign them. And we can click the plus sign here to add another room. We can send an announcement. We can refresh, delete, actions, and we should be able to set a time limit if we want to automatically move those uh, rooms around. And where it says closed here, if we right click or click on more options, once we have more people, we'll be able to open the rooms, rename them or close them or even join them if we want to move between the rooms as the presenter. So we can't see those options in full because I haven't got enough people in the meeting, but I wanted to show you how easy it's going to be from now on once this comes out of public preview and everybody has access to it, everyone will be able to uh, assign somebody from their organization or team to manage breakout rooms on their behalf. Breakout rooms and getting somebody else to manage them on your behalf, a long awaited feature that Microsoft has now enabled. As I mentioned at the start, it's still in public preview. But once everybody who has it in public preview, when people have commented, Microsoft may well tweak it a little bit. So it might change slightly, although I think it's pretty much there. We will all have it rolled out to our organizations and you'll be able to work as teams with a co-presenter, co-facilitator, and get somebody else to do all the breakout room manipulation while you as the presenter carry on giving your brilliant presentation. I hope that's been useful. Do get in touch with me, Shelley at Tomorrow's VA, if you or your organization want any training on Microsoft Teams and you can get hold of me that way. Follow me on LinkedIn, I'm on LinkedIn, I'm on Twitter and Tomorrow's VA has its own Facebook page and I'd love to see you there. You'll also find me on Instagram and on all of those platforms, I share lots of tips everywhere. So I'd love to see you online somewhere. Do get in touch managing your breakout rooms on behalf of somebody else.